Hello and welcome to this presentation on the Agilent's Nonlinear Vector Network Analyzer, NVNA, and X Parameter Simulation with ADS. The NVNA allows measurement of nonlinear X parameters in a similar fashion as the Linear Network Analyzer allows to measure small signal S parameters. The X parameters have the potential to do for characterization, modeling, and design of nonlinear components and systems. What linear S parameters do for linear components and systems? Take this nonlinear amplifier for example. Wouldn't it be nice if we could measure and display the full amplitude and phase information of each spectral component? Wouldn't it be even nicer if we can use this information directly in ADS, harmonic balance, or circuit envelope simulation, or Ptolemy system simulator? Well, you can do that with the NVNA. The NVNA has been designed to provide significant insight into your device nonlinear behavior and help you solve these tough problems. The NVNA measures and contain all these nonlinear behaviors in a set of X parameters that can be directly used in ADS. So, what are X parameters? X parameters are mathematically the exact superset of the linear S parameters. In other words, X parameters reduce exactly to S parameters in the small signal limit but also include rich nonlinear component information including harmonic and intermodulation distortion, compression characteristics with power, and much more. Add the fundamental and all the harmonics. And just like the S parameters, these X parameters also allow for cascading of components. So basically, we have a measurement system now and we have the PHD framework, which is the polyharmonic distortion framework. And we have a design kit that works in ADS that allow us to use these models in ADS for simulation and design. Okay, let's talk now about the NVNA. The PNAX is the top of the line Agilent Standard Vector Network Analyzer but it does nonlinear measurements for magnitude and phase at some frequency but not at the harmonics. The NVNA itself is the same as this top-of-the-line hardware PNAX network analyzer but the ability to measure absolute amplitude and relative phase requires a phase reference to make it cross the frequencies and capture the corresponding phase or phases. It can measure the amplitude and phase of incident and reflected waves at the fundamental frequencies and harmonics at the same time. And this is enabled by the use of a phase reference. And all this enable these nonlinear measurements. So the device under test, DUT, is placed and the phase reference is hooked up to measure the amplitude and phase of the spectral components. These measurements are fully automated and they're very quick. X parameters are measured in a 50 ohm system, but they can be measured at different reference impedances as well. You can also control external instruments such as bias and all this information is extracted in a file and the design kit for ADS compiles the PHD component model or namely the X parameter model this compiled component recognizes the file and what all this means to you is that within minutes you can do X parameters measurements and then simulate them in ADS this is a representation of the large signal input tones and reflected tones of a device under test A1 is the incident wave and B1 is the wave that is reflected back at the at the input port. B2 is the transmitted wave at the output 
and A2 is the reflected wave that could be coming from the next stage. So in the PhD framework, there are three terms that describe these waveforms, F and S and T terms. The F term by itself measures the device behavior at 50 ohms when you inject a signal A11 with perfect match and perfect source with no harmonics. But the S and T terms go together in the NVNA X parameters concept. The S term captures the response due to harmonics and mismatches. The S term is equivalent to the hot S parameters. The hot S parameters was the initial attempt to extend S parameters to nonlinear behavior. In the hot S parameters, you inject large signal at the input of the device and you inject a small signal at the output of the device at the output port with a small offset frequency to measure that behavior or the reflected wave, the S22. But it was found that the hot S parameters is not sufficient to capture device characteristic under highly nonlinear condition. This is where the T terms comes in. You need the T term to accurately account for this highly nonlinear higher order mixing products between the output and the input. These mixing products under highly nonlinear condition is not captured in the hot S parameter test. The T term, or what we call also the conjugate term, captures them and completes the puzzle. So you can see here from this slide the PhD framework concept graphically illustrated here. The nonlinear incident wave is broken into the fundamental large signal tone, which is the F term, and the harmonics and mixing products, which is the S and the T terms. And they're added together to complete the whole puzzle. This slide illustrates how the X parameters with the T term, that conjugate term, are superior to the hot S parameters. The red trace represents the measure output phase versus power of a cascaded nonlinear components. The blue trace is the ADS simulation results using the X parameters with the S and the T terms. And the green trace is the results of the hot S parameters method without the T terms. So it is clearly shown that the hot S parameters method fails in the region of highly nonlinear stimulus whereas the X parameters method with the S and T terms result in very accurate characterization that matches closely to the measured results. Therefore, we see that the X parameters are critical because they do predict the performance of cascaded nonlinear components. Here are off-the-shelf mini circuits amplifiers two of them, that were measured with the NVNA. We drive the first one very hard to generate harmonics, and the second one is not perfectly matched with the output of the first one. So what are we going to get at the output of this cascade? So this by itself illustrates an application for this technology, because ADS now can get the cascaded response, the two-tone analysis, the power added efficiency, the ACPR, and other measures of the cascaded amplifiers. Now, what are the advantages of using X parameters and the PhD framework?